Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. So in our today's video on Think and Design in GCP, the question is something like this. The customer's presence is only in Singapore and they don't have any other presence elsewhere and they want to restrict the developers and the DevOps team to provision virtual machine only in Singapore and it should not be provisioned in any other region. That is a requirement. So if you want to think about the solution, pause the video and think about the solution do and do let me know the solution in the comment section. So let me jump into the solution now. And as usually as I mentioned, the solution which I'm proposing is not the, the best solution. This is one of the possible solutions which I have thought of. So before we jump into the solution, I just wanted to show you what is the default setup in a uh, normal project. If you have just provisioned a regular project, what would be the behavior of that project? To understand that, let's create a couple of virtual machines, one in Singapore and one in Mumbai, some other region apart from Singapore. So let's use Mumbai. So first of all, let me create the virtual machine in Singapore. So the name of the instance is default and the region is already preset to Singapore. So let's just click on create and see whether the instance gets created or not. So by the time this instance gets created, what we'll do is we'll try to create one more instance, but not in Singapore region. Maybe we'll choose some other region. For example, uh, we'll use uh, Mumbai. That should be good enough. And let's click on create. If creation of the instance in Mumbai does not work, I would say we are almost done. With the default setting itself, we should be able to do it. We don't need to do anything. We can stop the video here itself. But if it gets created, then we need to do some tweaking. So that is a what is a tweaking or what is a modification we need to do that. Let's do into see see that. So now if you see the instance gets provisioned one in Singapore, one in Mumbai. So which is not something the customer expects. The default project setting is like this. Why is this? Because whenever a project is created for the first time, it will create a network called as or a VPC called as default. And if you go to the VPC setting, you will understand that the default VPC will have 20 subnets, 20 is equal to the 20 subnets in all 20 regions which we have. So because of which you can create VMs in any region. So this is the reason why we were able to do that in a default project settings. Now the solution now becomes easy once you understand this concept. The solution is very, very easy. Create a, a VPC only in Singapore region. That should solve the problem. Now, since we are using a free tier account, what we need to do is, uh, as per the best practice, delete this default VPC so that this will not uh, be used and uh, create a custom VPC. But if you have a, a, a organization account, what you can do is you can disable the creation of default VPC at the org level. So if you want, you can look into this video. I'll put this video link in the description. So what we will do is first of all, first delete these instances because if you have an instance running, you cannot delete the VPC. So that is the basic thing. So let's first delete the instances. Once the instances are deleted, we will delete our VPC. Once the VPC is deleted, we'll create our own custom VPC only in Singapore region. So that's what we are going to do. Let me refresh the screen. So the instance are created and deleted. So let's go ahead and delete this default VPC also so that we'll be able to achieve what we want. So let me delete the VPC. And once I delete the VPC, the firewall rules, all those things will be deleted along with that. The routes, firewall rules, everything will be deleted. Let's wait for the default VPC to be deleted. All right, the default VPC has been deleted. So, so you can just ignore this VPC. It does not have any subnets. It's of no use. So what we'll do now is we'll create a, a brand new uh, VPC and that will have only presence in Singapore. So let's give a name, something like VPC Singapore Dev and let's use custom VPC by which we can control in which region we want. So let's call it as SG hyphen subnet and the region. This is the most critical part of this entire uh, design. Choose the region as Singapore. That's very, very important and give the IP address range as 10.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 9 and we should be all good. Click on 
done and click create so once the instant uh, the VPC gets created you can create the firewall rule for simplicity reason I'm skipping the creation of firewall rule I guess you can create it yourself so that you can SSH into it and or if you want you can RDP into it you can do that part I'm skipping that part alright our VPC has been created and it is only in Singapore region all good now let's see whether this is able to fulfill our requirement let's test it by creating virtual machine the same procedure one in Singapore one in Mumbai let's see whether it works or not so first let's try to create it in Singapore as usual and go ahead and click on create okay you get some message here because the networking which it is taking is a wrong network by default it uses default VPC and in this case it is using a, a VPC which does not have any sub network in Singapore let me edit it edit and change it to the VPC which we just created now the moment you select it the subnet will appear now all good click on create you should be able to create the instance so I'm very sure we should be able to create our instance successfully in this uh, Singapore region with this approach to fulfill the or to do the testing completely what we'll do is we'll create instance in Mumbai also and see whether we are able to create it or not so let's just quickly do that change the region to Mumbai any zone should be fine and come to the networking part where you will see this uh, other VPC which I had so let's change this because it does not have any network there was not able to relate it for some reason so that's the reason I have left it so when I choose VPC Singapore you will see there is no subnet the same thing applies if you choose uh, some other region maybe say for example if you want to choose uh, London choose it There's some UI issue here yeah London and if you see still even in London you will not have subnet because we only restricted the subnet to be created only in Singapore region so now if you still go ahead and try to click it will throw you an error that you have not filled the necessary details so a quick recap by deleting the default VPC or by applying the organizational policy of creation disabling of uh, default VPC that is step number one and step number two is if you create a custom VPC only in Singapore you should be able to easily achieve this requirement so this is one of the possible solutions but it is not one of the, the best option if let me know if you have a better solutions please put that the better solution in the comment section hope the video is helpful thank you for watching